welcome back to This Week at MBE. We are winding down for Christmas. Some of the guys are traveling to Idaho to see family. Not Iowa, but Idaho. We got some going to Iowa also. So it sounds like no place warm. But um, so we're winding down. Merry Christmas to everybody. Let's we'll go through some things. This is um, this is an 18 degree. Oh no, that's the first set of 20 degree um, max pulls that we're doing because uh, some of the sanctioning bodies made rules against our head that they had to run a 20, not an 18. So being that it's our own casting, we made a 20 out of it. So now we have a 20 and an 18. So it'll have all the same rocker gear, all that, all the same really nice things that go with it. Um, so this, here's a set of 18s right here. Um, this is going to be a set of Northeast modified cylinder heads right here. And then we have some two 420 valve stuff that we do also. We have so many different versions of this because if we don't have what fits your application, either I won't sell it to you or we'll make it for you. So that's what, that's what we always do. We've done that since we started. Uh, I'll never sell you something that you don't need. Uh, another set of 18s here with the billet man up with this manifold does not go with these heads. We do not make a billet manifold for these heads for a single dominator, but we do for the big nine. Uh, I know you, most of you guys have seen those. Um, we got this set of heads right here is in here for service. This is um, this is up Andy Manson's car. And if you guys Google Andy Manson, you'll see he's one of the fastest street racers or, or small tire guys in the country. Uh, Anthony DeSoma builds the engines. Um, and those guys, they are just super fast. So it's really nice when you have guys that know how to race because people like this make make our product look good and we are very appreciative of it that they that they chose us um so here's the model head for this bob had this sitting here it looks like so this has got the two different ports in it that we offer um, we actually offer a third port for this but these are the first two that we did and you can see the size differences in it so we got if you go in here over the short turn we got this right and then you come in here and look at how much larger this port is so, like we talk about, those cross-sectional areas are dictated by cubic inch and RPM and, and, and what kind of racing you do. So, this smaller port over here, being that it's so much smaller with the short turn, we can use that for a lot of different applications. But it can also be used for, a, we have these go in uh, super light models for dirt racing. A lot of these guys are using this port because it's so much smaller and it flows 400 over 450. Um, it's got a smaller valve size. You can kind of see that in the chamber. Look and see how much different the chamber is. Um, one's a 10 degree valve angle, one's a one's a 12 degree valve angle, and we just we have an 8 degree valve angle that we're doing too. And don't get caught up thinking just because the angle is is shallower that it's a better cylinder head because that's not true. Um, it depends what the application's for. Um, there's very there's very many times that an 8 degree head will not be as good for the application as a 12 degree head. It just depends how, how you've designed everything. So let's uh, let's go around here, Biggs. I'll go over here. Um, so as you guys know, I don't think I've ever talked about this, but the guys blend the cylinder heads in here. So when they come off the CNC or they're doing the CNC porting, um, we built these benches I, a long, long time ago. I'm talking 20 years ago. A guy named Shane Love from Joe Gibbs Racing built this for me. So we're still good friends today, and he's uh, he's in upper management at Joe Gibbs now. So that's pretty cool. And we were just a couple of a couple of kids just wanted to go race and drink beer. So um, we got the billet heads, of course. We got we can do CID manifolds for the billet heads. We can do sheet metal. Um, we got a lot of, and we're getting ready to do billet manifolds for these. So we're gonna do billet we're gonna do billet manifolds for the billet heads and some of the other small block options that we have. So we've been working on the CAD work. It just takes time, but we're working on it. Um, um, and this, this is that uh, LS7 CID head, um, which is becoming extremely popular because it's a lot of bang for the buck and you can make big, big power with it. It's much better than the other LS7 castings that are available. This allows you to do much, much more and make much, much power. Um, and John had gotten on, his, gotten on our case about a year ago, like, why aren't you selling this? You should do a program for it. So we did, and he was right. They do sell, um, and they do work really, really well. The architecture of the cylinder, it allows us to do much, much more. 
Then we can do anything you want. We can do you can do sheet metal manifolds for this. We can do turnable applications, pro charger, whatever you need. Normally aspirated, whatever whipple, you need. Whipple. Oh yeah, and the Whipple supercharger. We got the one, and you may have seen one of the videos before. We got the Whipple manifold. We mocked it up here. Oh my God, it's about a bolt-on. It was great. There's hardly any work to do to it. So if you do this cylinder head with a Whipple supercharger using their manifold, I think you really have something then. Um, I'm not sure what a Whipple will make, but um, everything I've always heard about a Whipple is that it makes a lot of power. So, um, all right, so let's, let's go in here. Oh. We got some of the customer stuff here. So some, most of this stuff um, we received the deposits in about two to three weeks ago. And you can see all of them have been processed through the CNC department. All the seats and guides have been put in them. All the CNC porting has been finished. So now they're, they're in line here to be valve jobbed on the epochs. Then they'll do that little bit of blending that they have to do after it's CNC'd underneath the seat. And, uh, and then these will be waiting on... Um, just some of the components, most uh, basically 99% of the components we keep here in inventory. Um, so these will be waiting on valves and I'm happy to tell you that um, that Victory is, uh, is doing really, really good getting us, getting us uh, valves. So all of that is improving um, and I, I feel they're really looking out for us. So I want to thank them, get a shout out to them. And uh, so let's go through here. And then we got, we got one last big nine manifold. We made a run of about 15 to 20 of those um, about four months ago. There's one of those left. We'll be making another run of those, so don't be don't be worried, everybody. Um, we'll make a run of those. They'll be done before your uh, before your valves show up. So, um, but there's one left. But not to worry. Like I said, we'll be making another run of those. I would doubt we'll be machining uh, those, and we're doing a 9.8 version. We'll be, we should be machining on the 10.2 version, I would say, as quick as, as the next four to five weeks. And then we'll go on, uh, we're doing the CAD work on a new 9.8 version for the guys that run the shorter deck height for the truck pullers and things like that. Um, okay, and then we got just the stuff that's in line here. This is a set for dirt racing. This is a spec deal, and we're going to make it unspec. So, um, um, it'll be legal, but it won't be what, what everybody else is getting. But it will be legal, so surprisingly do very little of this. But this is a customer, they used to run Craftsman Truck, and they were a customer uh, purchasing our SB2s in 2004, 5, 6, and 7. So that's a long time ago, and it's nice to continue a relationship with somebody for that long, uh, you know, in the racing world. It's pretty cool. And now the grandson is racing, so father... Uh, grandson and yeah, so it's pretty cool. We got three generations there. Some other stuff that came in for service over here. You got some big chief cylinder heads right here. They're here for repair. I can see those are, and then these ones over here are just here for service. That looks like an old set of our truck pulling heads right there. That's what that looks like right there. So that's an old set of 18s there from years ago. Because um, we've been doing that iteration of that 18 since 2011, so a long, long time. And then we come in here, we got, so this is cool. So this is a set, this is for um, uh, trophy truck. So trophy truck, not a lot of rules on the engine. So I think this one's going to be insane. <laughs> this is twin turbocharged um, Dart, MBE Dart LS head. I think this thing's going to be awesome. And then because it is an endurance application, we have the small we have the small spring that Joe Hornick designs these. So we use a lot of his springs here, as as a lot of people do in the higher end uh, racing. Uh, use a lot of his spring uh, technology. So PSI makes the spring for him, but he designs it, and then we have access to it, which helps all of our customers also. So pretty cool. Something that little spring right there going on a twin turbo that probably make 2,500 horsepower. Pretty amazing. And work better than the larger spring. So that's all right there. We got, got a set of big nines right here. Actually, that's a set of inventory for a power adder. So we do have these are finished. So these would be for with, with the anti deto chamber and everything. And they've already been machined for hat washers. So uh, we had a customer that decided to switch to NA at the last second. We were just putting them together. So, but it's okay. We're switching all that over. I think we've already machined this, the, his other set on the CNC. We found out about this a week ago. 
Uh, those are going to Australia. Um, the other set is. Okay, your Dodge guys. We are not anti-Dodge, I promise you. We love top fuel. Okay, it's a Dodge B1 head. 4840 board space though, but these are here for update. We put seats in them, put the copper brillum seats in them. We did a complete update. We updated the intake port, the exhaust port, the chambers. This head looks completely different. If you can go back in some of the older videos, you'll, you'll remember this. So a major chamber update. So we'll do a before and after on the flow numbers, but I would guess that this is going to be 50 CFM better in places. Um, the nice part, it's going to run better than just the 50 CFM because we, Ian, this, Ian did this whole update right here. And we all work together in these projects, but uh, Ian did this one. But over the short term, this is probably about a half inch larger now there. And that half inch larger is going to move peak RPM up. That It could move it as much as 1,500 RPM. So that will help it go down the track immensely. We're not dirt racing. We don't care what kind of power we make at 5,000 RPM. It doesn't see it. So, yeah, so this is going to help this head out a bunch and help the engine out. So just waiting on valves for this. Those will be finished too. So we're looking good on all that, which um, is parts. And you can see, you know, things are, um, we're getting less, we're getting more and more stuff out of here, so that's great. Um, I would say we've probably put together about 20 sets of cylinder heads in the last probably week and a half. We've gotten all those packages out the door. Um, so uh, it was a, a good Christmas for everybody. So, but I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us uh, all the time. and. Have a great week.